Today we'll be replacing the rear brake pads on the Lexus RX 350 with electronic parking brake feature, which means that we'll have to disengage the electronic parking brake before we start the service of removing the brake caliper from the caliper bracket. This is a motorized electronic parking brake. So when the brake is on or activated, you have an electric motor here that pushes up against the caliper piston. To do a brake job, you have to retract the piston inside the motor before you can push the piston to recess it back into the caliper. So you have to apply electrical current here, 12 volts, in the right current direction to get the motor's piston that pushes up against the caliper piston to retract. If we make a mistake in the direction of the current so that this caliper piston doesn't go flying out, we'll put our caliper piston retraction tool in place so that piston won't go flying out if we apply current in the wrong direction. All you need to do is apply 12 volt DC current to these two pin connection points and listen for the motor. So if it doesn't apply any pressure here, then we know that the motor's piston is retracting and then we can start pushing the caliper piston back in. What we're using as a 12 volt battery supply is a combo tire inflator and battery jumper with a plug adapter and this wire is connected to the electrical lead here. This is a positive lead and this is a negative lead. So we'll apply a positive lead over here and if we touch this we're going to hear the motor going on. If we hooked up the electrical leads in the right polarity, we should be able to start compressing the caliper piston in, which is what's happening right now. That's bottomed out, so now we were able to completely recess the caliper piston. Now, if there is still a little bit of resistance, we could apply a little bit more current. Nope, that's it. It's fully retracted. So we can disconnect this electrical lead here. And now the caliper piston is completely retracted. Although these pads aren't worn out here, they're worn out on the other side. This is what happens when caliper pins are not lubricated. Uneven brake wear because the caliper can't float on the pins. So one side's doing all the work while the other side's doing nothing. So you replace brake pads as a set. And then we'll remove the button clips. Development clips. There. Just make sure the spring of the abutment clip is on the inside portion of the caliper bracket. We've already uh, pre lubricated the pad shims. Now we have to install the brake wear indicator. I have to lubricate the caliper pins. Just move it out like three quarters of the way out. This one seems like it's stuck. A 
as long as they move, you let's take them all the way out. See how it's moving now? fitting back on. Let's up the right line bracket bolts. Oh and if you don't want your wheels to get stuck on your hub you could put a little anti-seize right here around the perimeter. Okay. Now let's just turn the ignition on. Put the park on. The engage pull up. And we're done.